Hi, I'm Elizabeth Cott, and today we're going into the closet of Vicky Martinez, the breakout star of NBC's The Voice. I'm really interested in seeing how skyrocketing from anonymity to fame has changed her style. Let's go check it out. My name is Elizabeth Cott, and I believe you can learn a lot about a person from the contents of their wardrobe. Join me and get inspired as I take you into the esteemed closets of celebrities and fashion icons. We'll then choose items from their closet to be auctioned off, and through eBay, you can bid on some of their favorite pieces and make your closet richer. The proceeds will be donated to benefit a cause close to their heart. This is Closet Rich. Hello! Vicky Martinez was a finalist on season one of The Voice. Her original music has smashed into the top 20 of the iTunes charts. She has shared the stage with Sting, Annie Lennox, Etta James, and BB King. Vicky, hi. hi! How are you? So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to my home. Thank you. Um, do you want to go to the back and talk for a little bit? Yeah. Come on. This is my place. Great view. Thank you. So I really want to know about your style and your closet. Well, I'm happy about my closet now. A few years ago, I just honestly just didn't give a shit. And um, that was when I was on stage and I looked like I didn't give a shit. It was kind of a dark place in my life. You know, my father had just passed away. My brother had just gotten really sick. and. I just kind of was like, eh, don't care anymore. When I would go and get ready for a show, people thought that I was like the one that was setting up the gear. I wrote a journal entry about what I wanted to look like. I wanted to be a rock star. I wanted to wear a leather jacket. I wanted to wear tight pants. And I wanted to wear leather boots. So I'm interested in hearing about that specific moment when what you had written down in your journal actually happened. It was on The Voice when I was getting, you know, fit for a blazer and leather pants. I stopped them all in their tracks and was like, this is what I've always wanted to wear. You kind of look at yourself and you're like, wow, I look pretty. Your wardrobe was able to match the confidence you had in the music. Yeah. And when you can align the two, it's yeah. powerhouse. Yes. What charity do you want to donate to? Music Cares, which is a part of the Grammy Foundation. They are dedicated to supporting and helping musicians that are in need. They raised a million dollars when Hurricane Katrina hit and helped out the musicians in New Orleans. I love that. <laughs> yeah. So let's go see your closet. I want to see what's Sweet. going on there. All right. Here is my closet. Lots of leather and jackets here. I love that. What's your favorite one? Definitely the helmet laying right here. This oh, sleeves right here. So here. good. <laughs> I was supposed to wear this on The Voice uh, when I was performing on season two. Cindy Lauper was actually going to be wearing black and white as well. So I had to quickly change my outfit. Girls just want to wear white. But <laughs> Thankfully, the stylist of The Voice had this ready for me, so I ended up wearing this instead because they felt bad they gave me the jacket. Oh. So yes, I got two for one on that awesome. one. <laughs> Very cool. So what are you thinking of that you're kind of done with, you're interested in selling? I know that you would think I would go to my flannel, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm keeping my flannel. Um, these are some items that I actually wore on The Voice. This item actually was what I wore for my iTunes shot. So every time somebody downloaded a song of mine or saw my face for The Voice, this is what you saw me in. This is a big promo shot, right? Yeah. They're wearing Forever 21. I think that that's really cool. Rocking a Forever 21 there shirt you go. on iTunes. Come on, why Amazing. Not? Why not? This was a shirt that I wore. It's actually a dress, but I used it as a shirt, so it scrunched up on me. But I just thought that somebody who actually wears dresses might <laughs> be into this. It was a result show, so I found out like. Yay, I'm moving on. So there's definitely sentimental awesome. value in this one for sure. This is a very cool little BB number. Your fans are going to love it. Here's a little number that I wore a couple times. It kind of doesn't go over my tatas <laughs> as it should, <laughs> but I think it's a pretty cool rocking piece. Ooh, Sherry Bodell, we love her. Very yes. indicative of your style. Yes. Cool. This was given to me on the show as well. It's from the Guilt Group, and it's got the little studs leather. there, so it's pretty rocking. And studded, amazing. Yeah. It's this beautiful perforated leather, and it's from Vicky's personal collection. Do I want to give it away? Good cause. Oh, okay, yes. we'll do it. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I think we can raise some great money 
for great causes. For great causes. I'm loving this collection here of items we're gonna donate. Very yes. indicative of your style. And along with that, I wanted to give some CDs, some signed Vicky CDs, with anyone who decides to purchase one of the items. Not only are you gonna get items from your personal wardrobe yeah. that tell an amazing story, but a signed autographed CD. Yes, And album. know that you're helping an amazing organization. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thank having you. me. Thank you, and welcome to being closet rich. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> See you later and thanks for coming. Bye. I had so much fun hanging out with Vicky. So cool of her to donate her items that she wore on national television. Starting today, you can bid on those items with 100% of the proceeds going to her charity of choice, Music Cares. Next time on Closet Rich, we're gonna be hanging out with Kat Sadler, seeing everything that her rich closet has to offer. Until then, you stay Closet Rich. I mean, look at that. Maybe not because of the studs, but like that, like that. Actually, I kind of like, it's very... With the dress? Yeah. I'll work. <laughs>